Got a neat little piece of gear here for you today. Wanted to show it to you on the camera. This is not something that was sent to me. I just bought this on like Amazon recently because I'm kind of getting into the RMRs more on pistols. Uh, I've used an RMR on a rifle for a while on top of an ACOG, but never really was interested in something like this. I didn't even know this existed until recently. So this is, um, they're like 15 bucks in Amazon. This is from Strike Industries. It's called the Jellyfish and it is a RMR cover. Um, you'll see it's kind of like a transparent like smoke color and you can see that you can kind of see through there uh, as far as uh, you know viewability it's a little bit dark but it seems to work well enough anyway so let's get it mounted up I've, I've thrown this on a couple before just wanted to show you to here it does snap on well I want to make a couple of notes on this here so in the back you'll see that it is kind of like on a raised up there to kind of go around um, an RMR mounted specifically on a pistol like this so yes, they do fit on pistols. Um, they do fit on rifles as well. If you, even if you don't need that raised area to kind of fit around a slide, like you see here, um, it does work. So they actually connect in the rear here. you see there's like, let me pop this out. There's like a little tab here, kind of push up and then kind of lift right off. There are two little indentions there in the molding. And those indentions go into these holes. So it locks up well. I mean, it's not like, it's not hard to get off, but it, uh, it definitely seats down firmly and it's not going anywhere. So I like it, I think it's neat. Where does this come in handy for you know any users who um, are using RMRs? I guess that's really personal prep it, it, and it's up to you really. Um, as you can tell there, you can see the red dot through the, uh, the cover here. So it is usable with the cover on. So if you were say in like some really dirty, wet, snowy environments where you were worried about dirt, debris, or moisture getting down inside the RMR to the point where it would potentially disable it or render the dot useless, um, this could be handy for you. So I see this personally useful. And the reason why I bought this is actually for my Glock 20, which I'm gonna be using for hunting in December in the Midwest. So we get snow, we get you know ice and sleet and rain during that that time so i want to keep my armor covered and just protect it for that reason so i'm not sure this would necessarily be used on like uh like an everyday carry option because you probably have this covered anyway so you know probably not as useful for that but it is nice that they do have some transparency built into there it's a little bit hard to see so if you don't have good light you don't have light on your target it's going to be a bit difficult to see through this i was playing with it in low light yesterday and it's kind of like looking through like like an aim point or any other red dot when you're using both eyes open and you have like the front cover down. So you can't quite see through it in the low light without some type of illumination on the target. But um, I think it works well enough anyway. So it'd be nice to see like a full clear version, I think. Again, this is kind of like a smoke color. You'll notice that it does have the plus minus marked on each side for like your RMO6, RMO7. This is an RMO7, um, six and a half MOA. So that's nice. But with that said, let me reach over here. Ugh and bring in this guy. This is my trusty go-to 16 inch BCMAR. And I have a primary arms um, ACSS reticled Trigicon ACOG on here. This is a T31 ACOG four power. Um, and this has your like standard typical, um, this is the uh, battery powered auto adjust version. So it doesn't have the plus or minus on the left or right side, but it does still fit just fine. So it indexes on those two holes we just talked about earlier and it's not going anywhere. So if you wanted to use this on something like this, you very, very well could. Um, they do note a couple things. One, uh, it does not work with the dual illumination version. So there's three three types of RMRs. You've got your, your battery operated uh, auto adjust, which is this model here. And I think they're the most common, I would say the most common outside of civilian use because they're used in the military a lot on top of ACOGs like this. And then you have the battery powered manual adjustment, which is like your RMO6, RMO7, it's like here. Uh, and then you have the dual illumination, which has that like uh, fiber optic bar over the top. And it does not work with the fiber optic, optic version, but it does work with the manual adjust and the auto adjust battery powered versions. Also, I'll note that they say that it does not work with a rear sight mounted. So I can totally see that, and I'll test this later because my G20 is getting a RMR mounted with a rear sight instead of the rear sight in the front, or I should say a rear mounted sight instead of the front mounted rear, if that makes any sense. So it works just fine here with a front mounted rear sight, <clears throat> but if you move this to the rear, you can see that because of this little tab here, which again, I believe, given the what I see on there is kind of like some 
you know, grippies on there. I'm going to call them grippies. You can kind of push up there and then wiggle it off. It won't completely flip forward because that recites there. But um, that's that's why it, I think it would butt up against your rear sight in the rear. So they say it would require a modification. In fact, I thought about this before I even looked on their website. You probably just want to take like an X-Acto knife and trim this off and you'd be good to go. And you wouldn't be able to push up on it, but your rear sight is going to be there anyway. So just trim that off, I think. If you're running a rear mounted rear backup iron sight as opposed to a front mounted rear backup iron sight so you guys got any questions let me know i will put a link to this down in the description like i said i bought this on amazon for like 15 bucks um it's pretty cool and i think i'm gonna buy a couple more um i i can actually link to this so i will put an affiliate link down below uh, unlike pretty much all other firearm sites i can't link to anymore because of youtube's policy this one is good to go and a-okay so check them out Again, they didn't send this to me. I just found it on my own. I figured, it, I figured I'd buy it. So check you guys later. One more note I forgot to mention here. Again, there are plus and minuses in left and right side. This is flexible enough to be able to adjust your brightness without taking the cover off. So you can totally do that. You can bump it up and bump it down without pulling the cover off. So neat little thing. I like it. Pretty simple. I'm surprised it's taking someone this long to come up with something like this but um now that we're seeing rmrs much more um much more popular on pistols and stuff like this i guess it's not not that surprising but maybe it's been out for longer than i thought and I just, i'm just now finding it so let me know what you guys think